I'm going to start my talk. Uh, I'll talk about nerve growth factor targeted therapy for prostate inflammation and LATS, low weight network symptom. So this is. So um, BPH is at the kind of enlargement of a trans transition region of a prostate, which compress the uh, which causes a compression of the urethra to induce avoiding symptoms. But and then, but uh, in compression uh, due to the increased load of that the bladder causes hypertrophy, uh, muscle ischemia, which causes stray symptoms, but also inflammation in the prostate. Does that work? Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, inflammation in the prostate can cause that uh, sensory nerve activation, afferent activation to induce that uh, stray symptoms like uh, Unit frequency and urgency, type of thing. So, previous study, clinical study showed that significant correlation with lots lower entry symptoms and the prostate inflammation in the BPH patient. So, we are with this program, this our uh, brain center program, focusing on uh, low, low prostate inflammation and how this inflammation can affect uh, the bladder function, especially in uh, bladder overactivity. So we use the different animal models, uh, rat model, and also mouse model, which rat, rat models are in, in, induced directly by chemical irritation using hormone injection to, to, in the prostate. Mouse model genetically uh, induced a prostatic specific ecadohelin down regulation, which causes um, prostate specific inflammation. So with using these two types of models, we found that the first uh, prostate inflammation there uh, edema, infiltration of inflammatory cells, but no inflammation in the bladder. And so we found that the bladder systematically, uh, top is sham, and uh, second is formal injection or uh, prostatic specific e type of that, the down regulation, uh, which causes uh, non voiding contraction between voiding. Also, the, they cause a shows that the frequent avoiding is a urinary frequency. And then we looked at the, uh, how this overactivity induced after prostatic inflammation. We looked at the uh, afferent mechanism, sensory functions. So we found that dichotomy that about 20% and the neurons are innervating both blood and prostate. In those new and afferent nerves and the neurons and also in the bladder neurons, and these especially C fiber markers like a trip one trip A ones increased, and also hyper excitability of these uh, nerves and neurons were detected. Then, as a various uh, various uh, mediators, we induce this type of the afferent sensitization. We found that nerve growth factor NGF is increased in the bladder erosalium after prostatic inflammation. This is the bladder erosalium here. It's a positive uh, immunoreactivity in all the NGF antibody. So we published a couple of papers of this animal models in both rats and mouse. And the mouse model actually details will be presented in the later uh, this afternoon by Dr. Pascal in our group. So nerve growth factors upregulated. We, we hypothesize uh, any therapy against the nerve growth factor could be effective to induce, uh, suppress, or treat bladder overactivity. It's underlying for the lower inner tract symptoms. So first, this is a uh, nerve growth factor is a part of that the neurotrophic group of neurotrophic factors like a brain nerve growth factor, BDNF, neutrophin 3 or 4, 5. So first, I like to talk about interbasical, local NGF target therapy using liposome conjugated NGF antisense. So 
Liposome is a spherical vesicle consisting of rapid by layers. So we can encapsulate various compounds inside that, that this uh, liposome. So in clinically already tested is an empty liposome for the BPS IC patient or conjugated as in a botulinum toxin, a pentosan sulfate, a tacrolimus to uh, treat a bladder overactive conditions due to overactive bladder and also the um, BPS intracellular cystitis condition or hemorrhagic con uh, cystitis. So preclinically, we have been using NHF antisense to uh, con and conjugate liposome conjugated NGF antisense for the tr treatment of bladder overactivity. So this is our summary of our previous uh, study. I started with the spinal cord injury animals. So anti NGF antibody treatment, systemic treatment, and also in the spinal cord treatment, and reduce the bladder overactivity associated with spinal cord injury using animal model, rat model in this case. Also, directly we administer NGF into the spinal cord to increase the spinal cord level in the blood afferent pathway, can induce blood overactivity and afferent sense hyperexcitability, especially C5 blood populations. So also anti-NGF antibody treatment can reduce blood overactivity and blood afferent hyperexcitability in mouse model too in the recent our recent uh, publications so then our and uh, in uh, this prostatic prostatic inflammation model i show that we show that the prostatic prostate to bladder cross sensitization can induce bladder overactivity and the bladder energy upregulation so we have recent uh, previously a couple of studies uh, using liposome based uh, intravesical energy antisense therapy is using liposome conjugated uh, with that energy of antisense inside that uh, uh, liposome vesicle. So using colitis model, which is a colon to bladder hypersensitivity model and cause a pain sensation, bladder frequency, urinary frequency. So we can reduce that those bladder hypersensitivity condition colitis model. Also that reduce that the vascular response is called autonomic dysreflexia in ICI model. So we use this technique. Uh, we, uh, in, uh, this is animal model for the rat model. Uh, we inject the whole into that uh, prostate to induce a chemical uh, prostate inflammation. Wait 14 days, we inject uh, liposome conjugated uh, energy of antisense directly to the bladder, then waited another 14 days. So we performed systematically here. We looked at the frequency of the voiding and uh, we measured the intercontraction interval, then reduced after prostatic inflammation, but the liposome and conjugate antisense treatment can restore the, this reduction of intercontraction interval. So renal frequency is improved after this treatment to suppress the bladder energy of overexpression. This is overexpressing the bladder uh, mucosa. But after treatment, NGF level is downregulated. Also in the L6S1 DRG, which contain the bladder, bladder and prostate afferent neurons, we saw that uh, C5 markers like a trip B1, trip A1 is upregulated, but an anti-NGF treatment and restore the expression, reduce expression, overexpression of these uh, C fiber uh, uh, markers. So liposome uh, based energy function therapy in the bladder can reduce bladder overactivity and reduce the afferent activity as evidenced that those C fiber marker reductions. So uh, and the target therapy is effective, but also we tried so this is NGF and also the receptor is uh, shown here. NGF binds to track A and BDNF and the growth factor track B and uh, neutrophin 3 is a track C. So we try to use that, uh, this uh, track receptor 
antagonist GN, GNF5837 and to look at the effect of, so we are trying to uh, suppress that, inhibit that binding uh, receptors of these neurotrophic factors. So we use the two models. Uh, so GN, this uh, track receptor antagonist as already administered for once in a day for 10 days. So RAT model, interprostatic uniformity model, we this series of experiment, we looked at the, we focused on the non-voiding contractions with so small contraction between voiding. This is increased in uh, this animal model. Yeah, but after okay, for your okay. presentation. All right, just fin I just finished. Okay, so this treatment can reduce its overactivity. Also, we found that the, and prostate inflammation shown by the uh, uh, IL-1 beta expression reduced because it's a systemic treatment. Mouse models also similar process specific uh, e cadogen regulation model, we see that, that the reduction of this non-voiding contractions. So drug receptor blockage systemic application can reduce overactivity and also process information in these animal models. So NGF is important mediators for this product of activity. Is a targeting NGF by itself or as a and that binding receptors can reduce that the brother and those brother activity often sensitization and the uh, in a systemic application can reduce that process information. So this target therapy could be at the effective treatment uh, for the uh, rats, especially storage rats and the BPH patient when they have they have prostate information inside the prostate. So we thank that the support from the NDDK for the last five years for the, our center, uh, O'Brien Center. Okay, thank you.